OTAN Outreach and Technical Assistance Network So this is um, Wakelet step by step, and the PowerPoint link is. Um, will you put that in the chat box, Anthony? I will. Yeah. Okay. Um, I have a PowerPoint. We may not stick to the PowerPoint the whole time, but um, it is everything we're going to learn is in the PowerPoint. So if you forget, you can go back to the PowerPoint. You can download the PowerPoint, and you can um, remember stuff. So today. This is my goal is to teach you some stuff um, to let you learn what Wakelet is, to give you some idea of classroom uses of Wakelet, to create a Wakelet, we will all create a Wakelet, and we will collaborate on a Wakelet. And if we have time, we will have you collaborate on a Wakelet with a small group, and that's only if we have enough time, depending on how fast or slow we go. So what is Wakelet? Wakelet is what we call a web curation tool. So you, with Wakelet, you can create wakes or collections. So think of a wake as a collection. And it's different from a website. A website is where you archive stuff, but wake collections are much easier to, art, to make. So you can add your, like if you're following tweets, you can have all your tweets from a certain place go into a Wakelet for easy reading. You can, add content like text, images, PDFs, videos, and more. You can organize everything in your Wakelet. You can share your Wakelets with the world, or you can put them on a web page if you have a separate like Wakelet for a student. And you can make them visible to as many people as you want, or as few people as you want. So let me just show you my account. So I would, while I'm showing you this, I hope that you guys will go on to wakelet.com and Anthony will type that in the chat box, wakelet.com and get an account with Wakelet. So this is my Wakelet. I have um, different, I have bookmarks, I have collections and we'll go over all of that. And then there are group collections. And I'm gonna show you one of my, I, I really like this, Wakelet because the students I was teaching a low beginning class and the students were on phones it was remote and they were able to use the Wakelet Wakelet on their phone easily. So this is my lesson that I did with students on food safety and this was a low beginning class believe it or not I took the vocabulary from the um, CDC website on food safety and I made a lesson for them so as you can see here they have a a vocabulary page here with all the vocabulary. So this was a uh, this was a, a Quizlet. Um, Quizlet allows you to make a PDF, so I made a PDF of all the vocabulary words on Quizlet. And then there's um, I had a listening. That would be a Quizlet I embedded. It's real easy to embed Quizlet into into a uh, Wakelet, so I embedded a Quizlet there. Um, and then I made a uh, practice with spelling Quizlet again. I used a lot of Quizlet. I like Quizlet for this lesson. It's very visual and the students are visual. Then um, they have a, a document here, a Google Doc, learn how to separate here. So they click on it and it's just teaching them what separate means, together, separate. And here, separate. So it's just, that word was hard for them. So this is a visual for them to see what that word means. So that was why I spent a lot of time on that. And then they had a video reading. And this is actually, I took a YouTube video and I just screenshot the whole thing. <laughs> and I, I, you know, YouTube allows you to put uh, um, captions in there. So I just, I stopped the video, I took a screenshot and then I made a Google slideshow of all the screenshots. So that before they listen to the video, they actually reviewed the video. And then I had them do a, uh, then they listened to the, the regular video, which was this video here. Then they had a listening activity dictation that they did. This was Google Slides that I did. So they would click on here. Anthony, do we have the volume on? Um, did you enable the- No, I, I'm, I just did it. 
I see there's something in the chat. Oh, okay, that's you. All right, so here they just listen to what I say. Directions. Listen to the sentence. The sentence is read three times. Write the sentence you hear and check your answers. So here would be the sentence that they listen to. This is all done in Google Docs, a uh, Google slide. Number one, keep raw meat, poultry, seafood, and... So anyhow, that was just, I'm not going to spend all my time on this, but that was um, just an, a dictation exercise that they did. They would listen to it, then they would write it down on a piece of paper, and then they look at the next slide, which would give them the answer. And that was done in Google Slides. And then this was a... Have fun with food is a sorting activity that I found on Google where the students can actually sort the, the um, food in the refrigerator. It's really fun. So it's this one here, food. And the first one it gives you um, just, it asks some questions. We didn't go over that. I just skipped it because it wasn't what I wanted to do. This is what I want them to do, is to take these foods and figure out where to put them. And if it didn't work, it tells you to try again. See, correct. So anyhow, we had a lot of fun with that. And they, they really spent a lot of time on that activity after class. And then finally, they get a certificate for answering questions on a Google form. So that's how I created the lesson. And I, in order for me to get that information to the students that they could use it, Wakelet worked. It, it works nicely on your phone so that you can have all of these little activities here and the students don't get lost on the phone. That's the key for that. So that is why I really like Wakelet is that everything can be put there, archived, saved, and then students can access it easily. So let's get started on having fun with Wakelet. Um, so the first thing you need to do is get an account. If you already have an account, um, you can just open up your account, but I would like you to go to Wakelet and get an account. So you're going to go wakelet.com and then you're going to click on sign up. Now, if you have an account, you're going to go to log in, but if you don't have an account, you're going to go to sign up. And I'll give you a minute. Let me know when you say put yes in the chat box if you're following me along and ready to go on. Just type the Y for yes, and I'll know that you're ready to go. Otherwise, I'll talk continually. So Maxon is ready, good. Lola's ready, good. Okay, Eric, good. Everybody's getting ready. That's great. We'll wait for we have how many people? We have 11, so we'll wait till at least more than half. One, two, three, four. Good, Gloria's ready. And I have one more than half, we'll move on. Angela's ready. For some people, getting the account takes a little bit longer than um, signing in. Rumi's ready. Good. All right. I think we're ready to go to the next slide. OK. So the first thing you want to do is set up your profile. Um, so you have to go to your profile. And I, I, I need to find you the exact link for that, right? I mean, can you guys find your profile or not? Um, and you want to put a picture in there, even if it's a picture. It's nice to have a picture of you because your students will see you. And if you click on the pencil, you can make changes to everything. And you can add, this is really cool. You can add five links down here. You see I have Twitter and I have Facebook and then I have the World Wide Web. Let me show you my, I'm going to move over to the um, my Wakelet and show you my profile. So. Let me go back a screen. So here's my profile information. If I click on my name right here, I get to my profile. And here I put in a, I have to edit my profile. And you can change, now I really love this about Wakelet. 
they have this library. I don't know if you're familiar with a program called Upsplash, but they have the entire Upsplash library in here. So to find a cover image, you just put in anything you want. Like for, you can put in like, let's put in uh, city. Pictures will show up that look really nice. So you can find a picture you like and click on it. And voila, I have a city. You make sure you hit the apply button if you like it. If you don't like it, find another picture. That's actually quite nice. So there we are. Um, here's where you can edit your name. Here's where you can change your picture. I want, I don't want to do that, but you can upload an image yourself. Click on the pencil, you can change your name, you can change your, your Twitter. Here is where you can add, you can have up to five. These are the five that I've, I've chosen for. I have my, my Katisal website, my, my personal website, my Twitter account, my Facebook account. So you need to know those in, that information in order to put in that information. And when you're done, you must remember to save. And that's something, if you don't do it, it won't save. And you'll know you save because you'll see that it says edit profile. So go ahead and type yes in the chat box if you have um, changed your profile a bit or if you're having a question or a problem. What does S mean, Eric? It means question or yes? <laughs> oh, saved. Okay, good. Got it. Oh, that's good. Anybody else do something with their profile? You may not get your, you may want to find the right picture of yourself, but um, I'll wait till I hear from a few more people that you have done something on your profile. Or if you can't do it, put a question mark in the chat box and then you can ask me the question. This may take some people a few minutes longer because they're looking at pictures and unsplash. Don't spend too much time now. You can always go back and ad adjust it later. I'm waiting for more people. Oh, that's okay, Lola. That's because you use Google probably and your Google account was picked up. Um, so, okay, can't find profile. Good, let me go back. I'll show you. So. You see this, you have nothing, right? You just have this information with the plus because you haven't added anything. Um, here, right here, where you're, where, right here, when you go to wakelet.com and you sign in, Angela, you will see this, except it'll be you. And you just click here on your name and it opens up your profile so you can edit. So let me know, Angela, if you, okay, great. Perfect, that's what I, anybody else having a problem or is anybody else finished with the, playing around with their profile? I wanna see a few more people before I move on. Just remember, you have to go to edit profile, you make your changes, And then you have to hit the save button when you're finished. Or you will not. Hey, anybody else finished yet? Give one one more minute or so. So this is nothing you need to worry about unless you know what I'm showing you. If you want to add your own backgrounds, your own cover images, your own avatars, and your own profile header, you need to make sure that it's the right pixels. 
if you have no idea what a pixel is, you're probably not going to use this, but um, this is there for you for resource later. When you download the PowerPoint, you have all of those, um, the image size guide for you. So we're not going to spend any time on that slide. All right. One of the really cool, cool, cool things about Wakelet is that you can have a browser extension and you can have an app. And why this is so cool is that when I'm doing research on my phone, you know how you go on your phone and you have nothing to do and you're looking at stuff and you find a really good article that you want and you say, oh, this this needs this would be great for my class. If you just save share it to Wakelet, it automatically shows up on your Wakelet account. And the same with when you're on the so the difference between an app and an extension, the extension works with your browser. Now you might notice that there is a browser. That's very popular missing here. Yes, sorry, Safari doesn't work with, there's no Wakelet extension for Safari. So you can get Chrome extension, Firefox extension, and if you use Edge, you could even get an Edge extension. And those go into your browser, and let me show you where they show up. So your my extensions on here show up here. These are all my extensions. So you'll see there's Wakelet here somewhere here. And if I pin it, this is on Chrome though. I don't know what's going to look like on Edge. Then here, it shows up over here. So when I want to save something on Wakelet, I can just click here on Wakelet and sign into my account. I'll save as a bookmark. Let's save this as a bookmark. Now it's saved. So if I go back to my Wakelet, we'll see what I just saved as a bookmark. So this is very handy because I'm always using stuff and I want to have it all collect somewhere. Here's my bookmarks and here's what I saved. It was a Microsoft online, it's not, nothing much, but you can see that I use bookmarks quite a bit here. And they all show up here on your Wakelet profile under bookmarks when you bookmark something. So you can do it from your phone and you can do it from your extension. I really strongly suggest that whatever browser you use to get the extension. If you're on Safari, sorry, I, there's nothing I can do about that. Any questions about extensions and apps at all? I'll give a minute for questions or I'll move on. No questions. Okay. So now let's start making your first wake collection, your first collection. So um, let me go to Wakelet. This is again, I have this all here for you so that you can re have it for later. So let me go back one. I'm going to go to Wakelet.com. So you, I have a lot of stuff here, but you're going to have this green button that says create a new collection. Everybody, please click on it. And now you're going to add, this is your first collection. So you're going to add a cover image and you might, I always do that later because let's decide what your collection is going to be. So um, let's do one on, I already did this, but I'll do another one on voting. Voting. For me, you can do whatever you want in the whatever you're interested in researching in the USA. Resources about voting. I want to say voting, voting um, problems happening now. So I already know there's some problems. So now. At, so uh, this is my going to be my title. Um, I want to show you something. Automatically, all of your wakelets are private. You have to give it public. It doesn't make it public until you physically tell it to be public. That's actually a safety feature so that students don't write something that's and then it's public without, um, you know, before they're ready. So you have choices you can make keep it private you can make it unlisted i'm sure you know that that means you, you the students have to have the link to access it or you can make it public and everybody can see it i i generally make everything public so i have a title i have a subtitle and here is where i'm going to add my first item now you can add many things you can just add text 
You can add an image. You can add one of your bookmarks. You can add a PDF. And you can add tweets, video, YouTube, Google Drive, and OneDrive. All of that is so easy to do. So I am going to go over here where you can't see me. And I'm going to look for, I know, Georgia. And I, what I will do for this project is go state by state to find out about their voting laws. This is the project I'm doing. So here's my link. And I have to decide which news I'm going to use, Wall Street Journal. Which news source I'm going to use because they, it makes a difference, as you know. I'm going to copy. I'm going to paste my address in there. And there it is. And now I can edit this. So if I think that this is, I don't want my students to see all this text, I can just edit it. So you can edit the image. If you don't like this image, you can change it. If you want to edit the text, you can change it like that. So go ahead and do something, put something into your Wakelet. And then let me know when you're done with that. I'll give you a few seconds. Decide on a topic. And if you want, you can even add your cover image. Now that I know I'm doing voting, let's look for voting. Now look at all these great images. So I think, I think I'll use that one for this. Now, one of the things that I don't like, I think this is too much picture. So um, you can change that. You can have no picture. I don't know why you would put a picture in there and then want to hide it, but I like half. Half to me feels like a good, a good number, a good space. And then you can change your layout. I always, there's media view. There's, you're not going to see much compact view, which is nice for phones. If students are on phones, compact view is really nice. There's grid view. This takes up a lot of space. Uh, there's mood board, which is quite nice. So you can play around with your layouts. I'll go with uh, compact view. And then I always put on easy reorder mode because it makes it easy to move things up and down. So go ahead and find something, start a collection. Let me know when you're done by saying done or yes, whatever. And make sure that you save your changes. And you click done. And then you can see what it looks like. Good, Maxine is done. Put up this so you can see the. If you have any questions, feel free to either unmute yourself and ask the question or type in the question in the chat box. So for this project that I'm starting with voting, I'm going to go to every state and look at their voting laws and For my students to come to some conclusions about what's happening. But I have to be very careful with which media sources I choose. Hopefully you have some ideas of something to do because it's the best way is to follow along and just kind of put in stuff. So, so far only Maxine is done. Wait a little bit longer for other people. Feel free to ask questions.
And if you want to keep it private. OK, Maxine, so then you're the fast one in the group. So what I'll do is wait a little longer. <laughs> Great. OK, everybody's getting done. Good. So now we'll go on to uh, we already did that. OK, so now that you kind of made a collection, I have put links to oh, not this one, though. Hold on. I have, let me fix this because there's no link in there. And there should be a link. OK. So I found some examples. They're not all my favorite examples, except for mine. <laughs> they're, they're, they're good examples so that you can kind of see what, um, what you can do with a wakelet for some ideas. Oh, I lost my, sorry. Let me go. I think the only way to click on a link here is to have it, yeah. OK, so the first one is an example of a newsletter. So here is her newsletters for high school. And she has, this is her newsletter. I don't really like this, but this is the only one I could find that looked really good. I mean, if I were going to do a newsletter, I'd give more information on stuff. But um, this is mostly assignments and such. But it's, you can make a newsletter easily, and the students can actually, or the parents or whatever you're working with can actually use that. OK, so this is the lesson plan. And it's probably the one, yeah. So this is the lesson plan that I showed you on food safety that I made. So you can, and what, why I like Wake like so much is that the students were able to do this lesson on their phones, and they did not get lost. Um, for group projects, you need to have students need to have accounts, but they can work together in collaborative spaces if they all have accounts. Um, here's an example of student portfolio. This is a really easy way for students to make a portfolio. And I thought this was good because it was really like, um, it looks like an ESL student. Um, so the student portfolio, here's my student portfolio. This person has their certificate. This is why I won an eighth. I worked very hard, but was very happy with the results. See, she has it. They even got a little audio here. This is called the Immersive Reader. So it actually reads for you. This I won an eighth STD. Had worked very hard, but was very happy with the result. P.S. I have edited this because in the original certificate, the ink had faded from some parts. So it seems like this person had um, scanned that certificate in. So that's also a nice feature of Wakelet is that it has this immersive reader. And then if you like this work, you can give it a thumbs up. Then this person will know that I have looked at this and will be very surprised. And this is the portfolio. So I, I'm showing you this because it's really basic, but you can have as a sophisticated a portfolio your students can make as you want, as they want. I thought that was a very good example of a portfolio. Um, then there's a reading list. Like maybe you have a list of books that you want your students to choose from. It also is really good. I don't know if you're familiar with choice boards, but having students have a choice of what to do, you could have the choices there on the wait wake click and they just choose it. So this is, I like this because it's a lockdown reading list. <laughs> So below is just a small selection of the amazing free reading materials that are available for the John Roan school students. This list will be updated as more resources become available. So here's a lot of places for students to be able to read for free. So very nice, that's a reading list. And the last one here is an assignment. So this is an assignment for the First Amendment article. And so the, the teacher has put the resources there. They're supposed to read one article. And then with Google Doc, they're supposed to choose one article, read it, and write a, read about it. And I think they're supposed to write something. But um, yeah, so 
this is a very uh, a way of using Wakelet as an assignment if you don't have a an LMS. So there, I'm going to show you how the, you can do this so that students don't actually need an account to, to get into your Wakelet. So let me go back there. Let me go back to Wakelet. What I also like about Wakelet, if you think you're going to get lost, you just go back to wakelet.com and it takes you back to your, your page. So um, let's do, let me go back actually to the PowerPoint because I want to see what I have here. Okay, yeah. I have a little video to show you. That's what I have. Okay. Susan, how do you delete if you want to delete something like a website you put in? and you want to delete oh you let me you let me show them. you yeah so let me go back to my waitlet good question so let's say i want to let me get something that i have more than one item in uh, here it's got 18 items this isn't okay so right here i'm going to click on it right that takes me there hold on Edit, that's what you have to do. Edit. And there should be a trash right here. There, Rumi, do you see the delete? Yes or no? Yes, yes. Okay, okay that's how you do it. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. That's a good question. All right, so let me see what's going on with this PowerPoint now. How come it's up there? has happened to me in PowerPoint before. Okay, let me just go back to it. When in doubt, just refresh. Tip for the day. All right, here's my video. Now it should show up. And if I'm gonna go to present, oh, I see what the problem is. It moved. Present. Yeah. No. What happened? Of course, this didn't happen in my practice, right? <laughs> What's going on? So let me escape from it again. I think I can fix the problem because it's this is the problem. For whatever reason, it didn't place in there correctly. Let's see if it'll work this time. Sorry. Another. PowerPoint's not my favorite tool. Oh, I'm just going to go through it. This is the third try in the video. If I don't get this to work, I will give up. I think I'm almost there. I just have to find the present button. Maybe I can do it down here. So I'm going to show Yay. you how to make a sub collection that you can use with your students. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click over here on the plus sign to create a space. And here I'm going to call this voting rights. And I'm going to create the space. Now, once I've created the space, I have to create a new collection before I can share with anybody. So I'm going to click over here and create a new collection and we're doing voting. So I'm going to choose a photo from the library and this is Unsplash. And I like this one here. Now you have choices. You can hide your cover image. I'm not sure why you would do that. I like half cover. I think full cover is too large. And over here, I'm going to say voting rights. 
And the assignment for this collaborative activity is to find a website, video, or news article about voting rights in the USA. And I'm going to add a model. So I'm going to go over and get my, I have my URL ready to go. And I'm going to copy it into here. And so there it is. And I can edit this if I want. Um, but I think I like what it looks like. Um, and then I'm going to make it public so that everybody can see the collection. And then I'm going to click Done. Now when I click on this collection, I can invite students to come in. And they would just use this code. So they can either use their phone, they can copy the link, or they can use the join code and they can get in there and add something to my collection. I forgot to show you how to manage contributors, so I added this little section. If you go here, you can, um, there's nobody in here yet, but if I had other members in here, I could give them um, editing status or contributor status or administrative status. So we're going to start by having you join one of my spaces, and then uh, we'll have you move on to making your spaces. Um, so to do this, I'm going to go to my, I'm going to get out of here. Hold on. I'm going to go to my profile. Yeah. Always go to your profile and make sure you have everything the way you want it. And I'm going to. That's not what I'm going to do. Hold on, sorry, again. OK, so I have some group collections here. And um, let me move this over. Over here, this is where I have here, I have this is from last year, OTAN 2020. We're going to be using OTAN 2021. So um, we'll start with this one, collaborating on Wakelet. So I would like you to go ahead. Your join code is here. So you're going to join. So log, you're going to you can log out of your Wakelet if you want, um, because you don't need an account to do this. You can just go to I don't know if you know about using incognito. You can go file new incognito window and then go to wakelet.com. This is the easy way. And right here, it says enter code. You're going to type the code that I had there, which was not that. So let me go back to get the code. So the code is AB52704. So if I copy that in here, and I go incognito, and I type wakelet, and I'm not logged in, I go here, enter code. And I'm going to put the code in there and I'm going to join. So, okay, bye, Angela. Thanks for coming. And then you're going to put your name and you can join my space. So, I'd like everybody to do that so you can feel what it's like to be a collaborator. And your assignment, as once you get in here, your assignment would be to paste a link. To something below that you're that you love using with your students on the internet. So you can just go ahead and edit this wakelet. And then you can add something to it right here. You can add some text, you can add a photo, you can add a bookmark, you can add a PDF, you can put any of those items in, but go ahead and add something to this collaborative. And again, it's something you really love using online with your students. Can you show again how you join, how to join? Yeah. So I, in order to do that, I have to go in here incognito. You, uh -huh. So I don't know what browser you're on, but all of them have that kind of thing where you're not logged into your account. If you're okay. on Chrome, it's incognito, but if you're on Safari, it's a private window or okay. private browsing. 
it's under file usually. Yeah. And then, then you go to Wakelet and you're not logged into Wakelet. And then here, there's a button that says enter code. Oh. This is our beautiful Wakelet that we have collaborated on. What do you guys think? These are great activities, lots of tools. I lit flip grid pull everywhere. Kahoot, we have places around town, ESL vocabulary game. And classroom timers. Thank you guys for for adding to this. Um, so I'm gonna show you. What do I want to show? I, I I did give you editing possibilities. I realized I hadn't, but this is and I can move these around any way I want. Like maybe I want this one to be up there. I can move that up or move it down. So it's real easy to move stuff around. Um, even though the with this and you, this way you can just go like this, it's click and drag. So um, very easy to use. There's a settings button here. And this is where if you want the students to be able to edit what they share, sometimes you'll want people to edit it. Sometimes you'll not want them to edit it. So that's your choice. And also here, if you want them to be able to share with other people, you want to make sure that one is on. And then you can always upload another image. So let's just go with this one, see what it does. Oh, nice image in the background there. <laughs> I'm really getting, you're probably getting cold watching my way click. <laughs> that's um, collaborate, collaborating. So that's real easy to do. Um, not liking this PowerPoint at all. Okay, wait. That's the wrong way, it's going the wrong way. Okay, no, there's one more. We have to organize, I know that. So let's go to organize. Let me teach you how to organize. Now, on my wakelet, let me just go back to my wakelet. You're seeing my screen, correct? Yes, Susan, we okay. can see your wakelet, okay. yeah. All right, so um, you'll see, I'm gonna go to my profile once again. A lot of stuff that you can do for organizational is always in your profile. So in your in my profile, you'll see I have my wakelet organized for training resources, wakelet for students. So if I click on this, I'm just gonna see my student resources. If I click on this, I'm just gonna see my ADA resources. If I click on this, I'm just gonna see my training resources. So this is a really nice feature how to organize. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So everybody go ahead to your profile, click on your name again and get to the screen where you have edit profile. Then you're gonna click edit profile. And this is where you can add your sections or delete your section. So everybody will add a section and you can call it, um, let's call it, do what I've done, student resources, um, teacher resources, or you can even do different classes. If you have three different classes, you can put, you can sort it out by class, it's up to you, but go ahead and make some sections. The sections will show up over here and then I'll show you how to move the wakelets over into it. Let me know when you have done with those sections. Go ahead and put done or yes in the chat box when you've got a, set, a couple of sections. And if you have any questions or you don't know, you need me to redo it, let me know. Yeah, you know, Kelly, that point uh, is- Can you please do that? Yeah, let me just answer Kelly. Um, the, the phone isn't the best place to create wakelets. The phone is the place to have the students use the wakelet or um, bookmark stuff for your wakelet, but it's not good for creating wakelets. I should have mentioned that. Thank you for noting that. Okay, Rumi, I'm gonna do it again. All right, so here we are. This is your wakelet account. Here's your name with your picture or whatever you put there, right? You, you see that's clickable. So you click on that mm -hmm. and then um, you've got to edit okay. your profile, edit your profile. I already am in there. And then over here, oh. add a new section. Hmm. 
That's weird, Kelly. I don't know why it wouldn't take the code. I see. Okay. Got it. So if you're teaching more than one class, this is you great for that. If you're teaching more than one, like I do it because I'm a trainer, so I mostly have training resource. And then when I have students, I use Wakelet, how I use it with my students. So let me know when you guys got some sections in there so I can show you how to move your wakelets into your section. It's going to have to have more than one wakelet, so um, I'll, we'll find some for you. That will be the next thing we'll do. Make a couple. Two brand new sections. Great, Eric. Now, the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to save. That's always you have to remember on Wakelet, you must save. It's not like Google. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to find some things to bring into your Wakelet. All right. So let's go ahead and um, search up way up here. You can either explore or you can search. If you have an idea of what you're looking for, go to search. But if you don't have any ideas and you want to just grab some things, go to explore. So you just go over here. It's going to show you stuff that they already have. Well, this one looks really cool, huh? Copyright friendly photos and images. So am I going too fast or is it OK? Move on. All right, I guess we'll move on. So I'm going to show you how to get your wakelets so you can put stuff into your sections. So right here, you see the three dots? This is the one that copyright friendly photos and images that I like. It's got all these free ones that we can use. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here. I'm going to save it to my bookmark. And now down here, it says my collection was saved. Now, where did it go? Let's take a look. Go back to wakelet.com. It'll pop up to my wakelet. And if I look here under bookmarks, I there it is right here. So now I'm going to I'm going to put it into my, I'm going to put it in, organize it for myself. So if I go here, so you have to save it first. No, I don't want to do that. Wait, I made a mistake. I'm going to go, let me try this way. So here I have, for this, I'm going to use my training resources. I think that's a good training resource. So I'm going to edit my profile. I'll walk you through this again in a second. And I'm going to, oh, here, it's going to be down here somewhere. I'm categorized. I think that's, hold on a second. I should have videoed this myself. I'm having trouble remembering the steps to do this. Okay, the bookmark is here. I need to do this. No, I shouldn't have to do this. This. I don't know why I can't do this right now. Save the bookmarks. I already did that. And then I went here, and there it is. Oh, maybe it's here. Share bookmark. And here. Sorry. Okay. Now, now you'll remember where it is because I went through all this. It's this little thing that says "Add to a collection." So I'm going to click on that, and I have my collections here. I have my group collections, and I have my collections. So I'm going to add it. I'm going to create a new collection. And this is going to be photos. 
free photos. Create. I'll walk you through this again. And now it's it's there. And now I should be able to, if I go to group collections, should be there. No, collections. Yeah, I've done this so many times when I'm trying to show somebody else how to do it, not so easy. So let me go, I don't know what, what I did wrong. I saved it to a collection. It's not showing up here. Oh, it's showing up here. Okay. So I've got to, there's still something more I have to do. Add to a collection. Free photos, save to collection. And then here I should see my free photos. Oh, maybe my computer is going too slow. Something is going on with my computer. I still don't see it in there. It should be in here because I made I added it to a collection. But you see that something is really odd with my computer right now. Um, Susan, let me could stop you, sharing. I, could I don't you know search, what's going Can you search in the collections box there and see? Well, I, I think I have to restart my, the browser's going nuts here. Mm. Let me just close out of that browser. Let me just stop sharing for a second and see if I can get the browser to work correctly. Okay, it's it's now there. Probably more than once. Okay, I can start sharing it. I'm sorry, my friends, the browser was going crazy. Um, Anthony is, oh, share screen. Not letting me share the screen. Oh, there we go. All right. I had to re shut down my browser and reopen it, but now you can see that it's here. So over here, I can move the collection and I can move it into OTAN 2021, move. And then if I go over here to OTAN 21, 2021, you're going to see the free photos. So let's walk through that again, since I had so many issues myself. All right. So the first thing you're going to do, you've made uh, different resources here, right? Training resources. And then you're going to find that you're going to go either you're going to search or you're going to explore. So if we go to the search and let's search um, pictures. And then we can pick one that we want to save. So uh, some pictures for you, working with pictures. Let's look for free pictures. Now, oh, here we go, pictures free to use, for example. And then I click on the three dots to save it to my bookmarks. So find something you wanna save and then click on the three dots to save it to your bookmarks. And then go back to your Wakelet account. And you go to your bookmarks. And you'll see it's there. You can edit it if you don't like the way it looks. You can share it with somebody else. And you can add it to a collection. And you can create a new collection if you don't have any collections in there. Now, to get it into your 
section. So for example, here, I have to edit my profile and I can add it to here. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with this today. It should be easy to put this in here. I've, as you can see, I've done it numerous times. Um, I have. I think I still have one more step to go. I have to categorize it. No, I'm going to do that. So I'm having a problem. So this is what I do when I have a problem. How to categorize. Okay, here is the end. For, how do I? Okay, I did that. Dividing into sections. All right, okay, once you've created your sections, you're ready to add collections. Click Edit Profile to start. Hover over the collection you'd like to move. Click Move. Okay, let's try that. Here's the section I want to do. And it says to click Move, which I don't see. Click Move. I have to be in the profile. Okay. I know that I can move this because it's here. And then you can just move it to there, but I'm not sure how I got it categorized or uncategorized. So I, I still need to, one more question. That's already did that categorize. Sorry, my friends, I, I'm not figuring this out, but I've done it so many times before. And it just keeps giving me the same stuff. Let's go back to the PowerPoint. Yeah, I didn't put that in there. So I will figure this out and I will email everybody this problem that I'm having because I, I, I don't know why I can't do it. As you can see, I've done it so many times before. But there's a way to and take one of these. Let me just see what, what's here. I can move it. I don't want to move it. Give it collection. I'll just try it one more time. Edit. No, it's not giving me any way to categorize. I promise to send you the email on it, the step by step on how to do that. Um, because I am not able to figure it out right now. And the more I try to figure it out, it's not going to work. But once I get the instructions, I will send it to you. So No, I don't think they have to be public for you to move them into your sections. They just have to, you have to categorize them. And that's what I, I, I can't figure out why I can't do it. Because it's always, I've done it before. So there's one thing I have to figure out that I can't figure out right now. So, um, does anybody, besides the fact that I haven't been able to show you how to organize your wakelet, is there anything else that you don't understand how to do? Because I will get you those step-by-steps and send it to you in the email that um, comes out. And then remember that you, you don't have to be a personal expert at everything to be able to use the tool. And I just demonstrated that today. <laughs>
Susan, can uh, I ask a question? Mm -hmm. So speaking of I privacy, have a very... oh, go ahead, Rumi, go ahead. I was going to say, uh, do you have to make it public to collaborate? Or if you send them the code, you can still have it private? Um, like you know, the collaboration one? I don't we think did, it has to be. I don't think it, it has public. to be. So right. I don't think so, but you'll have to double check that. Because Rumi, to be honest with you, I always make all my white coats okay. public when I'm ready. I never keep them private because even with public, either they have to have an account in Wakelet to find it. I mean, you can't find it by Googling on the internet. Unless you look up okay. Susan. If you if you search for Susan, this is a good question, actually. Let me let me try searching for my Wakelet in an incognito browser list. Let's see if it'll show up. It does show up. So yeah, you could find it that way, but they'd have to know my name. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. I mean, it's highly unlikely that some weird person on the internet. And something would be searching for your wakelet. Um, also, what's the advantage of things? I mean, it's probably not related, but um, how does Padlet and Wakelet work together? Do they work together? Uh, you can embed a Padlet. You know how I showed you I was had all those Quizlets before? So what I did is I embedded, uh -huh. the, quiz, I embedded the Quizlet into the Padlet. I mean, I'm sorry, into the Wakelet. So in Quizlet, when you share with it, you can get an embed code. So Padlet the same way. Hmm? So I didn't hear you. That's what? like basically Padlet is like Quizlet. Oh no, Padlet is a whole different app. It's a it's a bulletin board app. But this is a curation tool. So this you could say to this is something like easy to make website for a certain topic. Where you want students to either you want to make it readable as a newsletter, you want it to be, you want it to be a research base, you want to collaborate with others on topics. Whereas Padlet's more like you put pictures, you put videos. I mean, I guess you could do it on Padlet as well, the same idea. Um, but what I like about this, like the lesson that I did with this here, the lessons that I made for students, it, it takes them through the mm -hmm. whole lesson step by step. Now it says, please wait. I'm guessing my internet's not happy. So here I have the step-by-step -step vocabulary, practice, listening practice, spelling practice, Google Doc reading, video reading, the video itself, which they can play right from here, a dictation activity, an interactive activity, and a Google form. So this takes the students, all they have to do is have this on their phone and they can okay. just click through. And it shows up neat, nice and neat, because it's an app okay. on the phone. Sounds good. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So uh, the only thing I have left to do is show you how to make sections. I'll either make a little video and send it to you, or I'll send you the step-by-step -step instructions. Susan, can I ask, um, huh? so, in terms of the you've been talking about the private settings versus the public settings so can you mm -hmm. give us can you show us how we can control that with our i guess with our overall wakelet but individual collections maybe right so when you make a collection it's automatically private oh i have to log in hold on i'm in incognito let me go over here um let me go into my wakelet account because i was in incognito so it'll always start off as private. If you don't make it public, it will never be public, which is a feature I really like because you have to physically do something to make it public. So let's say I, I, I search here, let's go to showcase and find something good. And I'll take this one, Google tips and tricks. And then I will save it to a bookmark.
and then I will go back to my wakelet. And the bookmarking thing is usually I do this on the phone, so I don't have to go back and forth on the computer. I bookmark on my phone, and when I get to my computer, it's all there. And then here are your settings. You can share it, you can edit it, you can add to a collection, and you can select it. Let me edit. No, that's just going to here. No, I guess it, you can't take somebody else's wakelet and make it into a public or private. It has to be your own wakelet. So you have to take your own resources. So this is one, let me get one of my own. So for example, this one is one of my own. And then I click on the edit button. When you when you bookmark a collection, you don't necessarily have the edit button because it's not yours, it's somebody else's. So I click on the edit button. And here on the top right corner are the three choices that I have, public, unlisted, that means you have to have a link, or private, that's only for you. So I think if you're public or unlisted, students can collaborate, but private, it's only since you said it, only I can see the collection, probably you can't collaborate that way. So if you wanna be safe, really safe, unlisted and make sure the students have the link. But if you want it to be easy, then you go public. I, like I said, I almost always go public. Does that answer the question, Anthony? It does. And then, um, so if it's public or unlisted, where would I find, like, is there a direct link to the collection and where would I find that? It's gonna be in your account. Okay. So when you go to your account, you'll see all your wakelets. Not organized yet because I have to figure out the <laughs> sectioning thing. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like, I don't know, I've done this so many times I should have videoed it. Look, at, I'm very organized. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yet I cannot tell you how to do it yet. Um, but yeah, so it has to be your collection to, to, um, to, make it public or private. If you find somebody else's collection that's already public and you bookmark it, it's still public. But you can make a new collection and put your bookmarks in there. Okay. I saw on the previous page, I saw you're making a mask collection. And is it uh -huh. um, in that row below the picture? Is that where I think, is that where I can grab the share code or, or the share link or whatever? Oh, wait, go back. I'm, I'm doing another something. Okay, so the making the mask one, hold on. Yeah. If you scroll down a little bit on this page, I think I saw it. Yeah, I just do it this way. It's easier. Okay, okay. This one. Yeah. So, so I can invite you. Uh, okay, there we go. Or you, if you go on your account and you find my making a mask, like if you search for me and Wakelet, you'll mm -hmm. see all my Wakelets and then you can follow me. Got it, okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Are there any other questions except for the one I can't answer? Hopefully, we are able to, you know what a Wakelet is, you know some classroom uses of Wakelet, you know how to create a Wakelet, and you know how to collaborate on a Wakelet. 